Yep. Giving all praises to Yahweh by Shemel Shah, by Shemu Kakodash, Shalom to the 144,000, and the rest of the elect out there, Shalom to you all. <clears throat> I'm going to title this video <clears throat> There's Hope for You Demons That Fell Out the Truth, That Turned Your Back on the Plow, That Gave Up, That Didn't Endure, endure to the End. There's Hope for Y'all. I'm trying to help you demons. Anyway, uh, and y'all be watching us, all you guys, former one Wesses, that went back into the world. Y'all know America's gonna be destroyed. Y'all know about the micro C hip. And um, you might even make some statements. You might even, you demons might even scoff at us, but that's all right. But I'm here to help you. There's four, give me a second. There's four countries that you can, it says the four countries Americans can flee to <laughs> in the event of a national crisis. You better get, you better get your passport. You better get your passport. And you better pray that that plane don't fall apart in the air. Because these planes are coming down, doors flying off of planes and all that. You might as well hop off a boat, but you may hit a bridge. But this is for all you demons, you clowns, guys like Yum Yun and uh, Ramayla and uh, Yeshaya and Gazakh and um, the Most High better have, I mean the Most High, you better hope that the Most High have mercy on High Priest Ari or High Priest Shah because they fell off too. Whether the Most High is going to deliver or not, it's not up to me, it's between the Most High and them. But uh, you know, I can go. I can go all day. Name it, name. You guys that turn your back on the plow. You 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 guy you clowns, that that fell out the truth. Give me a second. Now there's another problem. You're gonna take that. See, if you go to any of these four uh, countries, flee to these four countries. You're still gonna to have to take the karagma, the micro C hip. You're still gonna to have to take it because it's gonna be an international thing, a global thing, a worldwide thing, in an oikum many sense of the word. But I don't know what's gonna to happen to you if you're in another country a neutral country and you got the chip in you but if you got the chip and you're in America you're done so I don't know what's going to happen to the people of the rest of the world because guess what the people on the other side in Revelation 18 that stand afar off is looking at the destruction of Babylon the Great they're going to have chips in them so I don't know how that thing is going to work but I do know this, if you got the micro C hip and you're in uh, North America, you know, when I mean North America, I'm talking about the USA, Canada will be sort of kind of a neutral country. It might receive some damage, but it's not going to be, Canada's going to be intact. It's going to be rebuilt again. Whatever, whatever is destroyed, when we take it over, Central and South America will be here. The continent of Africa will be here. Europe will be sustain some uh, loss. Part of Russia, and Russia is a gigantic place. I, I did a video. The size of Russia, the land mass, which is Magog, all right, the, meaning from God, the land of God. I believe it's five times the size of. Uh, USA. USA is 5,000 miles square. I believe, you know what I'm going to do? Let me, let me, let me do this. Let's, let's do this. Russia is one of the places that you can go. 
Australia. You know, she she mentioned uh, two South American countries, I believe. She mentioned, uh, I, I think she mentioned Argentina, and she mentioned Mexico, and then she mentioned two European countries. So you can watch this video. Anyway, uh, let me see. Let me do this. Oh, yeah, I pulled this up. This is a statement by... Uh, by uh, Thomas Jefferson. And I believe he made this statement. I believe he made this statement. I'm not going to read it. But uh, let me do this. Bear me for a minute. How la how large is Russia? Russia How large is Russia's? Okay, what came up? Okay, I guess I was wrong. The largest country in the world is Russia with a total area of uh, 17 blah 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 kilo kilometers which is six, wait a minute. I right, six million, almost six and a half million miles. I mean, a uh, thousand, wait a minute. Am I reading these numbers right? Six million six hundred and one thousand six hundred sixty five miles. That's huge. It says equivalent to eleven percent of the total world's land mass of almost 150 uh, kilo kilometers, which is uh, 57 million uh, square miles. Wow, let me, let me do this. So you, you guys that fell off, you got a lot of room to run around in, in Russia. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. Let me open this up. thing back
pull it all the way back. Okay, here we go. This is America. 5,000 square miles. This is Russia. All this here is Russia. All this, all this here is Russia. This is, this is all a part of Russia. See Ukraine, Belarus, is right on the border of Russia. Romania, Belarus is down with Russia. Man, Mongolia, you got China down here. Look at that. Huge. So y'all might want to go to Russia, comrades. Let's come back over here. So you can watch this video because, hey, you guys that fell out the truth, you better get out of America. I'm trying to help your black ass. You better get, you better hop on and get your passport and hop on the plane and don't hop on the Boeing because the shit might fall, the wings might fall off that bitch. And get your ass out of America. I'm trying to help you. But then... When the kingdom comes, who knows? You got the chip. Most high might have mercy on you. The chip. Well, you're gonna get cancer anyway. So if you don't get hit by a missile, you're gonna get ate up by cancer. That's in Revelation chapter 16. But then you'll be in the kingdom, but you're gonna be a citizen in Israel. You're just gonna be a regular dude, a regular cat in Israel, which is not so bad. So I'm trying to help y'all, Negroes. You guys that got weak, and you got, and then you, you you got to look, look at this. We're talking. You guys fell off before 2000. Let's say you fell off in 2000. A lot of guys got fell off, got shooken up when the split came. A lot of people got shooken up, and they fell off. They just went back into the world. They just bugged out, man. Didn't know what side to go with. And um, so that was 2000. Let's say 2000. We're talking about we're talking about twenty five years plus. You fell out the truth. You've been out the truth for about twenty five years, twenty five years plus. And y'all don't know what's going on. All you know is that you're an Israelite, and you watch the videos. You watch the you th you thinking uh, Bishop Nate is right. And Bishop the Bishop, he's teaching that there's hell. So you thinking you might go there? You ain't gonna go to hell. There ain't no hell. And you you you're gonna take the chip because you're watching the bishop. And if you take the chip and you stay in America, you're dead. If you don't take the chip, you're still dead. So you gotta leave America. You gotta leave America, man. I'm trying to help your black ass asses. Anyway, that's all I gotta say. On to the next one, Shalom. So get your passport. <laughs>